we are we on are we working i think we are okay i'm gonna turn down the playlist just a little bit hopefully people can still hear the playlist and that it doesn't drown out my voice actually let me try this because i know that you can hold on there we go what's about to say um no we don't we redownloaded rtx voice like what's going on here advanced audio properties and then if we go wave I'm not doing that. I just tried like listening to my voice as I was talking. It, it is just like this completely weird sensation. Like what the heck, you know, like how does that even happen? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, looks like, um, are we connected to Twitch? Is Twitch being connected? What's going on? Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Okay. Because it was like going in and out, in and out, in and out. All these, you know, in terms of like connecting. Um, so I just wanted to make sure. See, it still says like sending data. There we go. And now it's not sending data. Oh, well. We'll see. If we're having an issue, if we're having a problem, uh, we will address it then. But until then, we will just uh, carry on um, as we usually do. And that is just what we will go ahead and do. But yeah, hello, everyone. Welcome. We are at our um, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Um, it's funny because I so I streamed uh over on facebook this morning so technically this is my second stream of the day um i'm not quite yet sure how i feel <laughs> if i'm being completely honest i mean you know it, it's a you know i'm not like exhausted or anything it's not as if i'm like oh my gosh i can't like uh you know but it is a weird it is a different kind of sensation like hey i was just streaming and now i'm streaming again you know um but it's all good uh because today we are going to do a little experimentation uh, so if you've been uh let's say following along or uh if you've been with us on our journey you've seen that we've you know added in different um we bought like different tools uh we've you know brought like different woods we've done like a lot of different things to um help um you know on our endeavor in making sure that our hobby and chip carving is actually you know beneficial and fruitful and all those other great words um but today i wanted to try out something so if you know or if you were a part of it before so recently i bought this which is a pattern transfer tool and basically they say that the pattern transfer tool can only work only works with laser jet it does not work with ink jet and i'm like well why the heck not I'm like what um so we are going to try i found a oh interesting it was like i found a pattern online that i want to kind of mess around with it does look a little bit intricate um and so i definitely want to try just to you know see what it's like and you know see like what a pattern would look like and i want to see for myself why inkjet does not transfer over now will it work uh apparently they say that it doesn't work um so if it doesn't work then it's like okay it doesn't work that's why 
um, but I also want to report that specific section only because that was one of the things that I was like looking up like yo why can't why does why do they only say it works with laser jet not inkjet and I kind of want to like show what exactly happens if you try to do an inkjet with the pattern transfer tool which is against the rules um and who knows maybe it'll work and it'll be like everything you know is a lie they lied to us oh my gosh um but before we get into that um i did want to you know start off with just a little bit of what we were doing before um recently and i can just show everyone right now um, recently, we had a, we bought this, which is like basically just, you know, um, a, diff a board to like help you, you know, get certain carves and cuts, you know, together and, you know, make sure that they're all neat and clean and whatnot. Um, so I like, you know, just working in here, like this is the next step in, you know, making sure that uh, some of our cuts and everything looks pretty good. Um, and then what I wanted to do was on the back side right here, um, that's where like it should fit. And I made two copies, um, but it should fit right here. If I'm looking at it correctly, it should fit right here. And then if it doesn't, so then if it doesn't transfer, we could just cut it out. We'll just cut it out and then we'll like glue it. I have some sort of like spray on glue uh, that we can glue on and then sharpen. I feel like if we sharpen uh, the knife, like sharpen our knife, chip carving knife, um, we should be able to like cut through and make cuts on the wood uh, and still have that wonderful effect. Um, so that that is actually going to be the plan for today. Um, but before we get into any and all of that, we'll, you know, start off with just a little bit of cuts here, patterns here. Um, and as you can see, we have here what is called a Lazy Susan, um, which I think is just very rude, like why would you call it a lazy Susan? Like, like, I feel like if anything, this is more like an amazing Susan because it helps you be able to turn your work um, without, whereas where we were doing it on here before and like having to like, oh, do we like stick with the, with the table or not? This is a little bit more I could say a little bit more sanitary uh, because then the wood chips will like fall off here and this is easier to clean off um, rather than on the table, uh, which, you know, we actually also work on. So uh, this thing, this will actually help make, um, you know, clean up easier, but also like turning things around and stuff a lot easier as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll hop right on into that. Um do that so let me put on let me put on my thumb um and then we'll go ahead and get everything all situated um yeah i never exactly got the lowdown on how exactly that should work like this thumb part should work uh but you know what it's been working with us so far the way that we're using it so we're just going to go for it um I like the lines so we're going to do the lines maybe we'll do this we'll do this because uh, we actually have you know a board to like to stay stable on I'm going to take off my glasses uh, so that i can see here but if anyone says anything in the chat you'll have to let me know Just a little bit over and then I'm I never really knew what exactly to do on these ends here like if it's just like a, we just want to do like a plunge which I believe that's exactly what we want to do um, 
And so that is what we do. Um, I feel like, is this a way to cut? It is, but I don't like that. Um, I've, I've seen just like different, so like I've seen different ways that other people do like their chip carving cuts and even I watch a lot of uh, my chip carving videos and he's even done some pretty interesting like ways that he does cuts. Um, and so just looking at things like that and it's like, oh, that's interesting. And then, you know, just in that moment of me trying it myself, I'm like, hmm. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let y'all stick with the interesting way and the interesting parts of the cuts. Um, because I am not, I don't feel, I don't feel really good about that just yet. Do it. Wonderful. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this row. I feel like the straight lines, I feel like we're at a point to where these are pretty good for us. across i don't know what this technique is but hey this is the time for learning y'all and if that this happens to be something that you know turns out to be the correct way great if it doesn't then you know what you learn something new every day We just This is reminiscent of like, have you ever seen like those videos of like people cutting through soap? It's like high key ASMR, but like visual ASMR, I like to call it. Um, but seeing how it like runs, like seeing how the cuts happen, it's kind, it kind of reminds me of that. And so these aren't falling out as easy, so we'll just retrace them just a little bit. Let's turn it around. Yeah. 
There we go. I mean, they're not bad. So my thing is the lines aren't bad, but it's the inside of these, like right here. So like it's the corner parts here, like these little parts here where I'm like, what are they supposed to look like? You know, like what exactly are they supposed to look like? Are they supposed to look like holes? Is it supposed to have like that little slant effect? Uh, that's the only thing I'm kind of like about, you know? Otherwise, I think we've done pretty well with like the straight line, the whole straight lines part. And yeah, it feels nice. No like ragged edges or anything like that. I like that. actually got to get in there I was like yeah that other time I was really just rubbing the knife just slowly through them there we go and that just comes right on up Go ahead, clean that up. There we go. You see. And that's where, at least with that one, I can actually tell and see why that one looks a little bit weird. Like there's like a little cut on the inside. Not sure you guys can see it. Um, but like there's like, if you like really look on the inside, like on this side, it kind of looks like oh you can tell like there was like a, a retracing part over that and that's because the knife didn't go as deep as it should at all so it's like a, a, a ridge kind of formed um, so that's that's interesting to see go all the way up there and then we'll do this And see that one's so much cleaner. Ah, oh, so much cleaner. That one took that cut a little bit too out well there. But you know what? It's fine. Came out. There's a little there. There we go. He wasn't expecting these to look so good, but here we are. Um, but one of the things I was telling uh, my stream earlier this morning was that this week went by so fast like i'm not sure about the rest of you but this week had those moments where first it was monday then it was tuesday wednesday just was like oh hey i'm just stopping by real quick i i left some clothes over here um i just want to pick these up and then i'm going back out i'll see you next week you know it's like that roommate thursday no idea no idea about Thursday. Literally, Thursday for me was a blur. I know I did things because it worked. <laughs> and I know that does not sound like the best like excuse or reason or understanding of why I know Thursday happened. But Thursday was literally one of those days where it was like, okay, woke up. And then five minutes later, it was four o'clock in the evening. Um, and then I had a whole bunch of meetings in between that. 
to get I have no idea what happened to Thursday but it was there and then Thursday was gone so that happened and then Friday today so it, was, it was there um but it does have that it, there's still that Friday filling so that's great oh these look nice these are actually like looking nice feeling nice Except for that little one little part right here. Uh, so that shows that that little part right there. We just extended the cut just a little bit too far, but it's fine because this is just practice and we are happy with what we're doing. Um, let's go on over to these tiny little beasts. There we go. And then these ones shouldn't be as hard because they're tiny. And then we just cut along the lines there. Yes. And that those just come out. I, mean, I wouldn't say that we're an expert yet. Um but I can definitely tell that, you know, we're we're reaching a level of comfort with these. Uh only because and especially compared to you know like the starting projects and just the way that i feel about them uh like compared to what i was first doing before it's just kind of like oh yeah this is this is a nice little thing oh me but now it feels like i know what i'm doing you know So I figure we do a couple rolls, a couple of chips out of here, and then we're just going to immediately just flip over the board and um, do the, and then we're gonna try the uh, pattern uh, that we uh, discovered on the interwebs. Go. And I mean, so the update, so last week I was telling you guys about the uh, the story, not the storage place, the purchase that I made from Amazon about the camera. Um, and basically that came to a, they refunded me. And essentially, uh, I have no idea what happened to that package. Um, I'm not sure if it was, if they still like kind of maintain, because here's the thing. Um, so Amazon sent me an email and this was like, you know, at first on the Amazon order, um, once it came to the time where it should actually have been delivered to me, Amazon was like, Hey, um, they were like, hey, uh, yeah, your package is on the way, but its delivery is still a little bit late. Uh, we're so sorry about that. Uh, it should be delivered between the 5th and the 9th. If it doesn't get delivered by the 9th, uh, come back the next day and you can do a, a refund or a reorder. So I was like, okay, all right. Uh, on the 8th, Amazon then sends me email another email this is directly to my email saying hey we're gonna refund your purchase um for these items and depending on your bank you should see the refunded purchase between three to five business days and i'm like what <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean amazon why why are you just automatically um why are you just automatically like refunding the order you know um, but, you know, according to what the order says and what's online and everything, it, it hasn't changed. And just as I expected and just as I told the representative, like, FedEx doesn't have the package. Like, I don't know which courier that she used, which delivery service that she used, but a, a homie never, a homie never did what he was supposed to do. Um, and if I were you guys, I would be filing some kind of something for him, um, because, you know, 
if y'all swore up and down like you guys swore up and down my package was a part of a order um and it was up for delivery and they just didn't do the initial scan and da 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 and all that um if i didn't get my package i'm worried for the other people who might not have got their package either and I'm pretty sure that is a lot of money for you. If you are now having to return all these purchases, but y'all still don't know where the packages are. So it's no longer about me, especially because, you know, I already got my money. So I'm like, that's fine. But I'm, I'm kind of concerned now because I'm like, yo, where's your inventory? Because that's a lot. If, you know, allegedly is 500 like y'all had 500 orders to be shipped on that pallet that day but the moral of the story is got my <laughs> the moral of that is got my things back in order um so what I will be doing is I will be placing an order for the actual camera that I wanted. Um, and that should be arriving sometime next week. Um, hopefully. Pending, um, pending, uh, you know, with delivery confirmations and, you know, if people are, you know, how many other order stores got. Like, this time, I'm definitely going to make sure Amazon delivers it because... Even in the midst of holidays and everything, Amazon will make sure you get your package on uh, two days. Like it say when it say, "Oh, you will get your package within this day," and it's by Amazon directly, not no other vendor or anything. Oh, you're gonna get your package when they say you're getting your package, and that is the thing about that. Like I know Amazon gets a lot of flack because Jeff Bezos is like a trillionaire. And he, you know, he's rich beyond even his imagination, like his ex-wife, his ex-wife. Um, yeah, I think she is his ex-wife. Like, she got, like, a billion dollars from the divorce and everything. Like, I get it. But also, the product that he made in Amazon makes sense. It makes sense, you know? Now, do I wish that he actually paid, you know, the taxes according to, you know, U.S. law? Well, you know, some people will, you know, argue against that and say, well, he is, you know, it's there's, you know, U.S. tax policies, da 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 da, you know, it's like it's there for everyone, you know, they just not have to use the system. Um, but I'm just like, yo, or you could just make it easier and just, you know, kind of pay your part, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not an accountant. Like, if that hasn't been fairly, you know, pointed out and, you know, fairly honest or fairly obvious, that was the word I was looking for. Um, tops is not my thing. Um, maybe in a different life uh it might have been but definitely not this life uh i remember in the seventh grade uh in the yearbook and this was my seventh grade year so for the seventh my seventh grade year's yearbook for some reason they had me as this mathematician um that was like that i, I remember one page it was like i was like a future accountant of america and the crazy thing about it is i don't remember them asking me to take a picture for it there wasn't a hey you know like if you were to win certain things they'd be like hey we just need to remove them from the class just you know for like five minutes so we could take the picture and whatnot um i don't remember any of that i don't remember any of that but yet i looked in the yearbook and i was all over that yearbook and it was just like okay um yeah i understand math but it's not as if this super math genius like you just find x you know it's not that hard um but all that 
uh, came to a screeching halt uh, once I took pre-cow. Uh, pre-cow was this, you know, this eye-opening experience that taught me, hey, uh, when the numbers, uh, when, when equations that are supposed to have numbers only have letters, it's time for us to stop. It's time for us to reevaluate our life, think about where we are, think about where we're going, and wherever we're going, uh, our math equations always have numbers. And I don't mean one number followed by a letter. I mean all numbers, all right? If, if there's letters with it, it's not a math equation. That's, that was it for me. Um, and that was that. Okay, so clearly, not sure if you can see, but clearly the crescent moons, yeah, those things, the crescent moons are not our friend. Uh, those are definitely something we will continue to work on. Um, but yeah, as you can see for like the other ones, I mean, they're not bad. There's definitely room for us to practice them a little bit. Not even a little bit, like a lot of it. There's definitely room for us to practice. But for the most part, I think that's just a part getting like a part of understanding like the wood and the skill and the technique um, is maneuvering it so that the angles and everything can like work together. Because uh, right now, uh, especially for the crescent, that's not working together at all. Um, but yeah, I'm getting very antsy uh, to try out this pattern transfer tool. So I'm going to so plug right there. I'm going to plug it in. I need to get some tape um, because I'm going to tape the pattern right here. So I'm just going to get a little strip of tape. Um, and then as this is heating up, uh, we'll do all that and then we'll get started there, but we will be right back so that I can plug this in and get some tape.
All right. So. So we have our tape. Just having it's just a, a simple, simple strip of tape. Um. In here we have a plug and we have a little holder and that which is not hot at all I believe we do that and it goes that way okay um. Feed that on through there. Okay. And then this is our glue. I mean, it says it's like heavy. It's heavy duty glue. Um, but I don't think we need um, controlled fine mist, photo safe, comfort nozzle a clear color now, i don't think we need so much uh because we're just going to glue if it doesn't work we're just going to glue a piece of paper onto it but because we're working with a hot flame right well it's not a flame at all um but it does get hot from what i hear i think it goes there is that where Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I believe it goes like that for that. All right. Um, and then I'm going to do. getting pretty i i feel i feel it getting warm yeah that's okay all right it's not like super hot hot uh but it's definitely i have i have this whole thing about um like touching hot things and whatnot um and so that one was definitely hot so i definitely know that it's on all right uh and so what I'm going to do is partially mess up my desk um, because smell how hot it's getting too oh that's uh that's something Why am I doing this? I have a paper cutter. Oh my gosh. I was getting up and getting down. It's interesting. Hold on. Mm. Right. 
And now you're probably wondering, well, why are you a paper cutter? Sometimes you just don't know when you're going to need something really, you know? So you just... You just, you just gotta be ready for everything, you know? It's a sharp cut. It's super sharp. Mm -hmm. Do that. Let's go. Man. And if my perfectionism is good. This should be just enough size. Yep. It's right here. And then we're going to take the tape. Do that. And that. Nope, 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 nope. We don't want it over. Being careful, being careful. Beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do instead, we're going to rip this just like that. And we're going to put one piece right here. And we're going to put the other piece right here. Just like that. So then, we'll do that. And then that way, um, if it ends up actually working, um, you don't want to just like have it there and you're just like, you know, you want to be able to like, bring it up and down like flap it a little bit um so that it doesn't like you know exactly like burn itself onto the wood um but that it just you know that it, it, it gets there and it does it all right so uh that's not oh that's super hot i'm not sure if you can see but like where is it where is it you see you see the little little white little white mark right there yeah it's not burnt like i can still feel it but you can tell like that is hot that is hot okay um so so basically what we're doing right now if you're just joining us if you're just tuning in we are going to see uh why uh, a lot of people say for the pattern transfer tool, sorry for the packaging, uh, the pattern transfer tool, they say uh, only is compatible with laser jet or photocopy, not with inkjet. Um, we are in a experimental phase and we are going to see why that is and what exactly happens when you try to use a inkjet printer uh, with the uh, pattern transfer tool. Um, so, let's find out. And we are very quickly finding out why. <laughs> Because 
Yeah, there is no transfer happening. Hold on. Absolutely no transfer happening when you apply the heat onto the wood. Uh, you can tell the wood is hot, but there is no, no transfer, none at all. So if you ever wondered why they say, oh, use uh, use um, laser jet or toner based, uh, not inkjet, it's because it literally will not transfer. Like, at all. So, now that we know, um, I, that's the one thing for me that I love doing. Um, I love, um, actually experimenting and making sure, uh, you know, of, you know, why things work and why they don't work. Um, so this one was one of those very curious things uh, for me, especially as to, well, what happens if you try to use it? Like, does something go wrong? Does something, you know, does it like burn easily? Does it, is it like a little hazard? And the answer is no, it's not that it's a hazard. It's not that, you know, it, um, it burns down your house. It doesn't, you know, it's not as if you're like conjuring up, you know, the fourth horseman. Um, it, it, it just, it, it will not transfer. So, uh, rather that is fine. Uh, we will go to other methods, uh, to get this on to our, um, on our wood. Um, but first and foremost, Let's go ahead and unplug this. We're gonna let that cool down. It says like give it about like a couple of hours for it to cool down. So that's fine. We can do that. Uh, let that get adjusted. Um. And for this, what we're going to do is I'm just going to use paper. We're just going to use spray glue. Now, I don't want to get this on my desk, so I'm going to do this on the floor, uh, which I definitely don't recommend because you know, this is not just, this isn't your average spray glue. This is Gorilla Glue, um, or Gorilla Spray Glue, spray glue for that matter. Um, and I've had so many different runs in with Gorilla Glue or Gorilla Brand Glue that I'm just like, I know you. And it's not that I don't trust you. It's the fact that I do trust you that I know you will hurt me, you know? And I get it. You're only, you will only be doing your job. And, um, you know, I can't blame you for that. But also, again, I know the damage that Gorilla Brand Glue can do. I just want to remove some of this. There we go. It was covering up the nozzle a bit. And so the last thing I needed or wanted for that matter uh, is for the nozzle to be uh, covered and then the glue starts spraying everywhere. That's not, not at all what I want. So that is not at all how we are going to proceed with this. All right, so. on top of here.
No. We do want it to be flat. Just like that. Oh. All right. As we're flattening that. One thing I did want to try though, because another thing that I got uh, was a particular. We're going to sharpen the knife so that we can cut through the paper. Uh, oh, where is it? There it is. Uh, so one thing that we did get uh, along with our lazy Susan, um, we got a uh, sand eraser, sand eraser, um, which they say helps remove the ink. But yeah, so this one doesn't exactly help with the paper aspect. So we might have to actually dip into our actual sandpaper and see if there is like one that we can use that, let me see, this is like super rough. See if it'll like take off the actual like paper from it. which it's looking like this one would. Yeah, that one's like actually scratching off, scratching off the paper from the wood. Um, but again, this is just practice. So this is like just our like practice wood and whatnot. So that's fine. That's good to know. Lots of learning happening, lots of memories being documented and whatnot. Um, so there we go. We'll do that. Okay. And then let's put that there. And we'll put this back in here. Oh, this is messy. This messy, messy, messy. And so as we continue to let this dry, uh, let me we're gonna sharpen up uh, the knife just a bit because not only will it be cutting through wood, but it's also going to be cutting through paper. Um, so what we want to do here is make sure that it gets super sharp enough to cut through not just the wood, but through the paper as well. Switch to this side. Yep, yeah, that looks pretty sharp to me. Sure. Okay. Um, 
So. Here's the thing. <laughs> think about starting these things. I'm unable to kind of see where. Okay, maybe. Because I'm thinking the way that it is, like, these are supposed to be, like, these are supposed to be, like, cut out. Um, so that this should be a ridge. So, like, this should be a ridge. This should be a ridge. This should be a ridge. That should be a ridge. That should be a ridge. Um, so let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, yeah. So if we do. Oh, oh, that's super sharp. Okay. Oh, that's very sharp, y'all. Like, it is cutting through that like butter. And if we do. That. If we do. Right. Yeah, nice. I was kind of scared there that what I would take out would just be the paper and would it be any any other wood. Uh, I was I was going to be actually kind of pretty scared. But no. That is this is what a, a sharp knife will do for you. All right. All right. And then we'll do that. And that comes out. There we go. All right. There we go. Perfect. All right. Moving on. Let's get to this other one now. I also think we're fighting against, maybe fighting against some of the glue. Um, which I, I, I don't want to say really is anything, but like just in case, maybe it is. There we go. And is it coming in? Uh, nope. So let's let's retrace that again. And I have to remember, I have to remember to keep keep my um keep the angles. Okay, that was just a that's just a um the little tie. I have to remember to keep the angle um because that's what's going to help make the chip actually look good. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think it's like right there. Um, so we'll move that. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we'll do that. Wonderful. Great. It's interesting. Very interesting. Just that little, little pocket in there. There we go. Well, that 
that's how that looks so far. Oh, th there we go. That's how that looks so far. It looks so pretty. All right. And so now we do the other ones. I went directly way too far. Okay. Um, hopefully that didn't really mess with anything. Uh, we will. Yeah, that did. That did. We'll find out though. So yeah, that little part is a little bit, a little bit sad looking. Um, but here's what I say. It's a little bit sad looking because we're, we're, we're still a little bit new to this. So we're trying something new and different one. I'm proud that we are trying this. Yeah. Because we are learning a lot. And plus we have, I'm gonna say, we have the added handicap of we are cutting through paper as well. Um, whereas with the regular, um, like pattern transfer tool, it would just like, we'd be actually cutting on the wood and we'd be able to bypass the whole paper issue. Down. Which it's okay. It's okay. Because this is practice. And we have a couple of um we have we have a couple of uh, uh other we have like the thing that we can use. We have another like template and whatnot so it's fine. It's fine. It's like just as I was getting through, I was like, oh, let me let me back up just a little bit. Let me let me not get too comfortable. There we go. Also, I don't I, I think just with the way that we're doing it, um, we're cutting like super deep into the wood. need to have more control <laughs> that definitely is well we've got to have a lot more control um, especially when you get because like the this last part right here um, we, we can't just keep like well this should be fine and then like it just goes through um, because that's when it starts to, um, starts to affect that little part right there. Let's do that. Yeah. And then we're getting, like, there's, like, a little part right there where we're getting, like, deep into the wood there. Um. So like maybe we're not supposed to go that deep with this wood. Um, 
maybe I'm thinking maybe I will like invest in some like easy board because it seems like easy board is a bit easier to type uh, so like the more depth you get because it doesn't seem like this kind of wood or maybe that's something that I'm doing wrong maybe I am going too far in and I'm not supposed to um, that is definitely an option. That is definitely something that we learned from last time as well. Um, like, because, like, I notice when I start doing it, I'm, like, going, like, straight down in, and I'm not staying in. So maybe... Maybe let's try that. Let's try... Let's go back to keeping this in. And then... Oops. A little bit of the, uh... And I'm polishing on there. Control, control. Right. Okay, okay. Okay, that one went a lot better, um, despite a big portion of this part being cut out. Can't say no what happened there, because I actually don't. Interesting. All right. Um, but I like I like the way that felt when we kept with our slants. Um, so let's keep at that. coming out are you are you shy are you just not ready there we go there you go okay yeah that one's really nice this one's that that is a chip right there okay what anyone says that is a wonderful chip right there And this is where the arm workout starts to, uh, we really start feeling it. There, that should be coming out. Hurt several different clicks. Yep. There we go.
Perfect. Let me respond to this really quick. I feel like it's a really, really great thing that I made copies of this because I think with this being, um, with this being like a, um, what's that? Um, like very linear. I think this is a good next step, if that makes sense, you know? So be careful. Nice. And then I think this also is a one of those I just hear a lot of clicks and I feel like it wants to come out. Finding the issue is with depth as well. There we go. It's just there's like just certain things or like certain parts where the depth is just not there on the initial cut. Um, and it's just not... It's just not there for me. But I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, that the cut just doesn't... Well, that is a tough part of the wood. I, I immediately felt that. So, how are we going to work around that? Let's find out. There we 
down. I know the point of the Lazy Susan is for us to like push all of that onto this part. But I'm like, ah, I don't know. go i like that we had a little bit of self-control we were able to stop before that went a little bit too far There we go. That's nice. All right. Let me just clean those little cuts up. Why? I'm not keeping the slant. Nah. Go. Yeah, I feel like a lot of this also is like this is what happens when you use like paper as your guide um i think it just doesn't have the same effect as if you're just like cutting directly into the wood um, personally that's just me seeing that because now we have like another cut there and it's like it does just like this weird thing where it's like it's it's cutting into the other side and i'm not sure why it does that but it's done that twice and i'm pretty sure it's human error pretty sure it is something that i am doing wrong and i take full responsibility for it i just want to know why is it happening that's all, all i want to know um i want to say it probably would have something to do with the way that the angle of my knife is and i kind of want to say that's like a hundred percent what that is but we will continue on um i figure we'll get through the middle of this circle and then we're going to sand it out if yeah no we won't sand it out well we'll use actual sandpaper to sand it out uh, and then we'll take a look um and then we're, we'll call it there um does it feel like well first of all my arm is hurting um but i feel like this is a good learning 
good learning experience for us and then also that will give me time to um for next week's to either see if i can get my hands on like an actual like photocopier or uh, get like an inkjet printer apparently um and then we can like do like a comparison of okay this is what it is when you're using paper uh this is what it is when you're using actual wood uh again i want to say using actual wood um is more fruitful um Go. Go. Yep, see, and I could just tell the way that slant is. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's still slanted. It's still at a, at a good degree. There we go. Just a few more lines. Go. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere near as deep on these ones. Like, I can just feel it. Like, I can feel it when I cut through. It's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Try again, buddy. Try again. Yeah, see? And then it just keeps happening because I'm not... So, like, what happens is... I'm not getting I'm not getting as far as I need to on that cut so when I try to pick it up it'll take that part that next part of the wood so if you can see a little bit closer let's see if I can show you so So, on the big parts of, you see it here, you see it here, so you see it here, oh, mirror image, what a crap, so you see it here, you see it here, and then you see it here. What's happening is I'm not getting as far down as I need to in the cut along the line. So like what happened here and where I was able to see it was I didn't get as deep as I was supposed to here. So when I tried to pull the chip out because I didn't go down as far, it just it just lifted up the whole spot. Um, so I, I really have to make sure that when I'm making those cuts, and like making like those long cuts that it actually goes all the way down and and not um and not like partial way um i guess and i guess that comes with the training of feeling when like the chip is ready to be pulled out instead of trying to pull the chip out um prematurely
parts, so especially these parts here. Because this is the tiny spot, and it tends to happen. The tiny spot always. Make sure that it doesn't happen. Um, and this last one. go and so this one should now there we go but what are you hanging on to no. now you don't want to come up So last one. Last set, I should say. And I'm thinking that's what it is like you go down and then as you get there you got to turn it up so that it lines up against the wall so it's like you're cutting out like a slant and then you raise it up so that it's getting that full like cut that it needs. Yep, because I just heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Yep. Look at that. All right. Finding the techniques. Beautiful. And then it goes up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. And then for this last one, we'll just make sure. I heard piercing, I heard cracks in the wood. Not exactly the sound of, hey, I'm the chip, I'm ready to come out. There we go. Now that's the sound of, hey, the chip. Almost ready, there, nope, he, not even, he's almost ready. He's like, get me out of here. Yes. Perfect. Here's a little stubborn bugger. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now that that's done, let's 
see what happens. Actually, no. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep these little lines on here. Yes, it's not perfect. Um yeah, we're gonna keep these little lines on here until like the very end. Um, and then we'll clean it up. Um, but then by that time, I feel like because these other lines are pretty much I mean, yeah, they're still pretty tiny. Um want to say we'll probably get through the rest of this by next week and then that following week we will um apply one with the pattern transfer tool and with that we'll be able to compare and contrast uh but i'm actually not i mean even though there's you know you can you can tell some of the blemishes and some of the parts where it's like yeah no that's not that's that's not how that's supposed to be um, I'm actually not, I'm not mad about it, you know? Again, it's just one of those things where you just have to kind of like, it's a learning process. And that's, that's it. It's a learning process. And I feel like this was one of the first times where it's like, okay, we tried a different skill. And this was always something that I would look and I'm like, oh, how do they do that? How do they break the wood? And now we know exactly how they don't break the wood. You have to make sure that your cuts are deep enough before you start to pull the chips out. Otherwise, you get that, that, and that. Um, and so, yeah. But we're going to call it there. Give my arm a rest, because right now it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. Again, this was fun. This is always going to be fun. Um, but it's also nice that, you know, we're able to find, you know, other patterns. Like, we're starting to look for patterns online. Uh, see which ones actually like, you know, which ones, you know, look good. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to continue this. Uh, really excited to you know, get like a photocopy of this and be able to actually transfer it onto the wood, I think we'll I honestly think we'll have a lot better time uh, with that and not having to cut through wood, both wood and like a little bit of resistance from actual glue. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds like a little bit of cognitive dissonance, like, oh, it's because I'm using like Gorilla Glue spray glue, um, but I really feel like the less that you have to cut through in addition to the wood, the better. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. This is all a part of the learning experience. This is all a part of why we're doing this to learn a skill and to create different techniques and discover techniques to make, uh, you know, to, you know, make great things in the future. Um, but that's all I have for everyone today. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead, follow all the social links, all the channels, one solo player um on twitch and, and uh, well, we're, we're broadcasting on twitch and we're broadcasting on YouTube. Uh, but yes, one solo player on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, one solo player with the number one on Twitch and Facebook, uh, Facebook gaming. We do stream games as well, uh, over on the Facebook channel. So please go ahead, follow there. Uh, we recently to this morning, we got through all the Kate Bishop stuff, um, and we love her. We love Kate Bishop. Um, so we definitely will be playing more of her. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.